You know, just take me through uh, the draft on Thursday and to finally hear your name called number 23 by the Broncos, how much of a weight was lifted off your shoulders? I mean, it was amazing. Uh, just sitting there and you thinking, you know, you're in such a dark place because you don't know what's going to happen and you don't know if anybody's going to decide to take the chance on you. And when the Broncos, you know, called my phone and said that they were trading up to get me, I mean, it was, it was such a great feeling to let to know that somebody decided to give me a chance. And more importantly, you know, I just want to, I want to go show the Broncos that they made such a great decision in giving me the opportunity. You know, the draft is already a, a very stressful process. Um, how much more stressful was it last week, just with that uncertainty of not knowing when or even if you'd go, and especially in that first round? I mean, it's, it's very stressful. I mean, you think about it, you one day you're projected top 10, and then the next day, you know, you don't even know if you're going to be picked. I mean, something like that can affect you so much mentally, you know. And for me, I had my family there just, you know, keeping me through it every step of the way. And, you know, I felt like without them, I wouldn't have been able to do it. You know, obviously your hometown Chiefs could have taken you there at 18. Um, should Alex Smith uh, be worried? You know, uh, when I think about it, you know, I grew up a Chiefs fan. You know, I love the Chiefs, but you know, I'm a Denver Bronco now. And, you know... Alex Smith had to see me twice a year, and me, Von Miller, and DeMarcus Ware, so I hope he's ready to run. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, just talk about the opportunity to play with, with two, you know, Pro Bowl, all pro caliber guys, learn the, the ropes of the NFL from, from guys like that. And, you know, I mean, it, it's got to remind you a little bit about the last couple of years playing with Missouri, just being able to put so much talent out there on the field at that position. Definitely. I mean, you know, I've been blessed with a great opportunity to be able to learn from those two guys. And, you know, also uh, be able to play with them and go on the field and use all of the skills and traits that we have to just, you know, tear offenses apart. And I feel like uh, the combination that we, we make, I mean, I feel like there's nobody that's going to be able to stop us. You know, uh, there's obviously been a lot of talk, you know, about your character this week. Mm -hmm. What would you say to people who, who worry about that, you know, and, and all the jokes about going to Colorado and stuff I like mean, that? It's, it's so tough because, you know, people take one mistake that you made and try to place it on your entire life and, you know, and try to erase all the good and things that I've done. And I just say for people like that, you know, if you haven't made a mistake in your life, then I applaud you for being perfect. But unless you are perfect, you don't have the right to judge me off of one bad mistake, you know, and I own my mistake. A lot of people couldn't have done what I, what I did to go and own my mistake in front of all those people, in front of all those media, and still have my head... head still have my head held high and still have the character that I had. A lot of people would have ran with their tail between their legs. And so, you know, that just says a lot about who I am and how strong I am as a person and, you know, the fact that I accept that I'm still growing and still becoming more mature. But, you know, those people, they don't have the right to judge me. Who's winning the Super Bowl this year? Denver Broncos. <laughs> <laughs> the Denver Broncos going to win the Super Bowl this year. Appreciate it, man.